Acting tip number 43, the showreel. I've touched on the showreel. I will be showing you a good example of an actor's showreel. This is your calling card. So it's really important that you have a good reel. Now the thing is about training is, for example, when I had a studio here in, in Auckland for, for a long time, um, I covered a lot of acting techniques, uh, mainly acting for the camera, and we went through a lot of scripts in um, a few different levels, so level one to four, for example. Level one was all the basics, all the technical basics of screen acting, everything we're talking about, actually practicing that on camera. Um, and the, the highest level, level four, was showreel scenes that were shot by a friend of mine who's a fantastic film director so that you've got a good copy of something for your agent to send out on your behalf. Uh, the thing is about that course is that it was the most a high maintenance to produce at a low fee or, or the, the average fee that I was charging for the rest of the courses because obviously I had to pay a film director who then had to go off and edit all the, all the scenes. But at best, um, that course, and I, I'm, I'm calling it my level two now, which is a showreel course. <coughs> and what it is, is you will have gone off, you have maybe done a basic course with me or a basic course with someone else, and then you go off and you train with one of the trainers here. Now I'm going to be talking about the trainers and who they are and what they do and what their techniques are because you're going to gravitate towards a trainer or you are already who you like, who you connect with, who you're really learning with. Um, there are different forms of method acting training for example. It's, you know, All acting teachers were not created the same. We're all different. But my feeling is we should all work together. So my strength and what I'm passionate about and what I love is producing scenes for actors of your work to show you off. And what's great about that is I get to work with more experienced actors as well who um, have a good, what's called director's ear, can hear direction. And, and we can do some fun things. Richard can also write the scenes, I can write the scenes as well. So that is a, going to be a level two. Um, there won't be so many any of them, but the ones we do will be um, hugely good. They're always good fun um, to do. It's great fun to do what you're passionate about. Um, but the showreel must have on it you playing parts that you're right for, that you're cast in. And you may have, say, a, a bit from a 48-hour film project on your reel. You may have um, a commercial or two or whatever, which is great. Um, but there may be some other parts that you'd love to play and you'd love to be seen playing. Well, I've got great camera equipment um, and we've got our own little crew and we can produce those scenes that um, I think we'll probably go more for original scenes than feature film scenes. We've done feature film scenes before, but people tend to compare what you're doing with the feature film, Pulp Fiction, whatever it is. Um, so, so that's just to let you know, all of you that have been asking, this is what I'm doing now. This is what I'm focusing on. My online YouTube channel and also the performance course. Um, and I'll still do the very, very beginners technical screen acting because I think that's really important just for those people that are going to audition for commercials even. Thank you very much.